gospel reading of Jesus and the Syrophoenician woman has captured the attention of so many people and myself included. It's a remarkable story. Jesus is in the region of Tyre and Sidon. He's not in, you know, kind of home country. And a woman from that region comes and implores him to help. Now, Jesus had been looking for to awaken within people of his own tribe, you know, the, the faith that God was moving and acting. And here comes this woman who is from a different culture, a different faith. And she calls out after him with such insistence that the disciples are getting a little bit perturbed. And they say, send her away. She keeps coming after us. But what is this woman saying? First, she calls Jesus Lord. And then she uses a title that he would be the Messiah, the son of David. This woman is, is uttering things that Jesus would hope to hear from his own people. Then she comes and does him homage. This is really a, a strange thing in, in the, this gospel, that here is this obvious stranger and foreigner who is expressing faith in Jesus. How did she acquire this knowledge? How did she know that there would be a Messiah, that he would be called the son of David? You know, there are some people who are kind of tangential to faith and to the community who can pick up a lot. Jesus, when she continues and is insistent, bestows on her what her request was and her daughter was cured. There are several lessons here. One is the persistence. This woman has been given as a model of persistence in our prayer, in our petitioning God. It will happen in God's time, but it doesn't mean that we can't continue to ask and to ask and to ask. And sometimes, you know, our prayers will not come out the way that we want, but we should continue to ask. Think of this, you know, this was a woman. This woman had no real rights but she, in the eyes of God, was given what she wanted, her heart's desire. She was not of the holy people of God, but God cares for all creation. This woman's daughter was possessed. God's power extends beyond nation and beyond boundaries. God's love is universal. In this gospel reading, you know, I continue to, to be fascinated by the persistence of this woman, how it was that she came to faith, and it was that faith that was able to secure the cure of her daughter. May our faith continue to grow. May we be persistent in our prayer, asking for the things that we need. And may we look around us to see faith in the lives of people who may not worship in the same tradition that we have and implore God to answer their prayers too.